Good morning and welcome to this time of prayer on Thursday uh, for thy kingdom come and in our hearts let us approach the throne of grace ready to praise our Lord and King. O Lord open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Send your Holy Spirit upon us and clothe us with power from on high. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Creator God, to you be praise and glory for ever. As your Spirit moved over the face of the waters, bringing light and life to your creation, pour out your Spirit on us today, that we may walk as children of light, and by your grace reveal your presence. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. And as we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. And today's psalm is Psalm 24. The earth is the Lord's and everything in it, the world and all who live in it, for he founded it on the seas and established it on the waters. Who may ascend the mountain of the Lord, who may stand in his holy place? The one who has clean hands and a pure heart, who does not trust an idol or swear by a false god. They will receive blessing from the Lord and vindication from, the, from God their Saviour. Such is the generation of those who seek him, who seek your face, God of Jacob. Lift up your heads, you gates. Be lifted up, you ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, you gates. Lift them up, you ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is he, this King of glory? The Lord Almighty. He is the King of glory. And our Old Testament reading is from Ezekiel chapter 11, beginning to read at verse 14. The word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, the people of Jerusalem have said of your fellow exiles and all the other Israelites, they are far away from the Lord. This land was given to us as our possession. Therefore say, this is what the Sovereign Lord says, although I sent them far away among the nations and scattered them among the countries, yet for a little while I have been a sanctuary for them in the countries where they have gone. Therefore say, this is what the Sovereign Lord says, I will gather you from the nations and bring you back from the countries where you have been scattered, and I will give you back the land of Israel again. They will return to it and remove all its vile images and detestable idols. I will give them an undivided heart and put a new spirit in them. I will remove from them their heart of stone and give them a heart of flesh. Then they will follow my decrees and be careful to keep my laws. They will be my people and I will be their God. And our New Testament reading um, for Thursday is Matthew chapter 9 verse 35. Jesus went through all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom, and healing every disease and illness. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion on them, because they were harassed and helpless, 
like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into his harvest field. Jesus called his twelve disciples to him and gave them authority to drive out impure spirits and to heal every disease and illness. These are the names of the twelve apostles. First, Simon, who is called Peter, and his brother Andrew, James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John, Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew the tax collector, James, son of Alphaeus and Thaddeus, Simon the zealot, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed him. These twelve Jesus sent out with the following instructions. Do not go among the Gentiles or enter any town of the Samaritans. Go rather to the lost sheep of Israel. As you go, proclaim this message. The kingdom of heaven has come near. Heal those who are ill, raise the dead, cleanse those who have leprosy, drive out demons. Freely you have received, freely give. Do not get any gold or silver or copper to take with you in your belts. No bag for the journey or extra shirt or sandals or staff, for the worker is worth his keep. Whatever town or village you enter, search there for some worthy person and stay at their home until you leave. As you enter the home, give it your greeting. If the home is deserving, let your peace rest on it. If it is not, let your peace return to you. If anyone will not welcome you or listen to your words, leave that home or town and shake the dust off your feet. Truly I tell you, it will be more bearable for Sodom and Gomorrah on the day of judgment than for that town. I'm sending you out like sheep among wolves. They'll therefore be as shrewd as snakes and innocent as doves. Be on your guard. You will be handed over to the local councils and be flogged in the synagogues. On my account you will be brought before governors and kings as witnesses to them and to the Gentiles. But when they arrest you, do not worry about what to say or how to say it. At that time you will be given what to say, for it will not be you speaking, but the Spirit of your Father speaking through you. And so let's respond uh, to the words of those readings with those words from Romans 8. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your people and kindle in us the fire of your love. All who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God and fellow heirs with Christ. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your people. Renew the face of your creation, Lord, pouring on us the gifts of your Spirit and kindle in us the fire of your love. For the creation waits with eager longing for the glorious liberty of the children of God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your people and kindle in us the fire of your love. And so the Benedictus from Luke's Gospel. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender mercy, compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. 
Our Heavenly Father, we thank you that the Lord Jesus is the one with clean hands and a pure heart, who is, uh, who, for whom the gates of heaven were opened, and now reigns as the King of glory. And we thank you for the gift of your Spirit to give us clean hearts, and to gather your people together. We thank you for the mission given to the Apostles, equipped by your Spirit to call people from every nation to gather as the people of our Lord Jesus Christ in the new creation which you are making. We praise and thank you. Amen. And we pray for this day and its tasks which lie ahead. Um, as I hear the traffic behind me, so I pray for those that are going to work this morning, um, especially those who are key workers, um, for those who feel at risk going to work this day. We ask for their protection. And pray especially for Christians in the workplace, that they may, to this day, be your witnesses uh, before those around them. And we pray for the tasks that each one of us has. We, may we know both the equipping of your spirit um, in the various gifts that we need, but we pray also that through your spirit, uh, the, your fruit will be growing in our lives in all that we do. For Jesus' sake. Amen. And we pray for our world and its needs. And we pray especially for Latin America and uh, now being declared the hot spot of uh, this virus crisis and we pray too for those many places which just go under the radar that we don't hear about we pray for the conflict in syria in yemen for the situation of refugees in southeast asia and across the sahel lord we pray for those living under oppressive regimes across the world and we pray for people who feel helpless and lost in the face of this illness as they cry out to you Lord hear their prayer and through the work of uh, Christian agencies bring healing uh, to them and bring with that the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ to give them hope and we pray for the church <clears throat> and the life of the church. Uh, we pray for Justin Welby and uh, Martin Snow um, and pray for all the leadership in this diocese and leadership in this local churches and in the villages around us here. Heavenly Father, as there seems to be ever-changing advice and guidelines and ever-changing scenarios about what it might mean for churches to open up how and when we pray that you will give all who have to make decisions especially the church council here in Rothley uh, your wisdom in all that they consider uh, please we ask Lord we long to be able to worship together face to face but we want to do so in a way which is um, honouring it to you uh, which respects uh, the government of our land and which is missional, uh, invitational and draws others to you that they may find faith in you for Jesus' sake. Amen. Come Almighty God, your ascended Son has sent us into the world to preach the good news of your kingdom. Inspire us with your spirit and fill our hearts with the fire of your love that all who hear your word may be drawn to you through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, the King of glory, you have exalted your only Son, Jesus Christ, with great triumph to your kingdom in heaven. We beseech you, leave us not comfortless, but send your Holy Spirit to strengthen us and exalt us to the place where our Saviour Christ has gone before, who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Being made one by the power of the Spirit, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, 
hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done in earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the Spirit kindle in us the fire of God's love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia.